Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. I am continuing on with the alcohol ink in Jesmonite, fully inspired by Wednesday's video where I dropped some ink into the mold before pouring. I love the result so, so much, but I was so excited to continue on and see what else we can do with the alcohol ink. first technique I want to try is dropping the alcohol ink in layers as I'm pouring in. So I'm using the coffee and the brown. I was so excited by these colours because I could just imagine coffee, you know, chocolate. <laughs> so I'm using these two alcohol inks and I'm going to alternate between alcohol ink, jesmonite, alcohol ink, jesmonite, almost like you would in resin if you're doing like alcohol ink with the white dropping technique so this is the plan now i'm not saying this is my original technique i've just not seen it before the first thing i'm doing is dropping some drops down into the candle mold the beautiful candle mold is from molds and shapes i will have that linked below i've also got videos on this and you'll see here no rhyme or reason because this is all experimentation i'm just pouring as i'm dropping dropping as I'm pouring and just hoping that these colors do show up. Now, if you did see my test run, I did a video a good six months ago, what we can use in Jesmonite to color it. Alcohol ink did not work. It didn't work. I poured some alcohol ink into the Jesmonite and it pretty much disappeared. The end result was, I can only describe as a natural, dirty looking Jesmonite. It really didn't bring out the color at all. But now that we know dropping it raw, into the mold works i was hoping this would too and look at this oh my gosh at this point all i could think of was cappuccino or a hot chocolate when you get cocoa powder sprinkled on top look at this yes i wanted to drink it <laughs> and no i didn't i didn't drink it obviously but yeah it just looked so so yummy and i was so excited for the results the next thing i'm going to do is use my own handmade silicon mold which i made in a previous video and I'm doing a similar thing again. I am going with brown and blue because I think that's a gorgeous combination. As soon as I started dropping them both in the mold, I could kind of see that they were, you know, being drawn to each other and just becoming one puddle. So I was worried that they would muddy and I wouldn't get anything from it. The first thing I noticed as soon as I put that jesmonite down onto that alcohol ink, it pushes the alcohol ink throughout the entire mold. So I did that for the first two and I allowed that because I, again, I don't know what the results are going to be. I've not tried this before, but on the third one, you'll see that I actually poured the jesmonite at the top and allowed it to make its way down towards the alcohol ink. I just wanted to be able to compare the two techniques. So I've poured it directly into the alcohol and then allowed it to come and meet the alcohol. I really don't know what the results were going to be at this point this is voice over Claire so I can tell you that the results are beyond any uh, anything I could have imagined I am over the moon with the results of this video so in these last two I just used the blue on its own and I just poured the jesmonite down on top just to find out what it would be very much ocean vibes that's what my brain was thinking but in reality I had no idea I really didn't I didn't know if there'd just be a muddy mess for the last three I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough jesmonite to fill them all I made a black so if you need a black black make sure you use your two percent pigment and I'm just going with the gold and black because gold and black is classic and I yeah yeah, I went for a fourth. I knew I wouldn't have enough jesmonite. I decided not to drop any ink in that one. The one in the middle, I added some blue pigment to. And the one on the left, I decided not to add blue, but I'd add some chocolate brown and see what that would look like because brown and gold also go beautifully together. I did have to help the jesmonite out of the cup at this point because I made one big batch for all of the projects. And of course, you don't get much work time. So it is starting to thicken up at this point, but still runny enough for me to get it into the mold. And I did a similar thing that I did above. The first two, I poured the jesmonite down on top, directly on top of the alcohol ink, allowing it to push the alcohol ink up throughout the mold. And then on the final one, 
I really had to scrape the cup for this. I poured it at the top. I poured the jesmonite in at the top of the mold, allowing it to come down and meet the alcohol ink. And it's getting so thick and so gloopy. I made such a mess, honestly. How many times do I say I need to put gloves on when I am using a jesmonite? I have, you know, not long painted my nails and I've already stained some of them black now. So... I don't think I'll ever learn. Is it too late to learn? I don't know. Anyway, little bit of a shimmy, little bit of a shake, and I will give you a close-up of the beautiful effects. Look at this. We've almost got lacing. Like if you were doing like resin oceans, that alcohol ink has created some beautiful lacing techniques. So I was so excited to see, but this, come on. Does that not look like a cappuccino? It really, truly does. If I can make cappuccino, Jesmonite, oh, winning. So these are the pendants demolded. Now, again, I did want to test these out. I had enough Jesmonite to test these out. I didn't want to just go for the, the flat tray like I did in the original video. I really wanted to try some new things and just see what I could get, what effects I could get. This is me kind of looking at my fingers to see if any of that alcohol ink has come off on my fingers. And I really like these. They're so simple. They're very ocean, very, very summery. Now these, oh my gosh, these were like little cubes of fudge <laughs> that's the only way I could describe it the brown really took over so when I poured the jesmonite in on top of the alcohol ink because it's such a small mold it forced the alcohol ink up through the whole piece and it took over but this one here with the brown and the blue added look at this effect I'm trying to think of the word what's the word is it patina is that the word you know when you get that metal that kind of goes off and you get this turquoise this turquoisey color I don't know. Leave it in the comment section for me. I think it's patina, patina, but something, <laughs> something like that. Maybe I should have Googled before I did a voiceover. I can't remember, but that is the effect it's given me. And I absolutely love them. I find them so neutral and calming. This one in particular, my favorite, the way they've joined in the middle, the way they've kind of met. Unfortunately, I messed up here and you can see a little bit of a blob of powder that wasn't mixed properly. That could be easily fixed with a bit of a drill out and some jesmonite just scraped in to cover that hole. You could fix it if you wanted to. Now, these are the blacks and the golds. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. The gold as you can see, the one in my hand, I felt like they were a little bit soft, a little bit squidgy. Some of the black was coming off on my hand, but it was short lived. These will dry out, but the corners were still a bit soft after the 30 minutes. So maybe the alcohol ink has some kind of detrimental effect to the curing process on these. Not sure. This one here in my hand is where I poured the black directly down on top of the gold, which forced the gold out into the rest of the mold. And I am obsessed with it absolutely beautiful result love i just love black and gold this one here is where i poured the black at the top allowing it to come down and meet the gold not much interest here at all there's a bit of a blue bubble that was pushed out but not much interest not much to look at does that make sense whereas the other two where i poured it directly on the gold it's given so much interest so much detail and depth and i'm yeah i am head over heels but I'm telling you guys, the next result is a wow. So now we are demolding the candle holder. And I am telling you, oh my gosh, even just rolling the top down. I got so excited at this point in my hands. This is me showing you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. My patrons have already seen this and they all came back with exactly the same thing. We are talking tiramisu. We are talking chocolate and cream. I could straight away see a cappuccino drink when you mix the cream in with your drink. Absolutely beautiful patterns, beautiful texture. You can see the differences between those two alcohol inks are very defined. Very defined differences between the brown and the chocolate. Is that the name of it? The Let's Resin alcohol inks that I used. Just so so beautiful I think the chocolate is the lighter color the brown is the darker brown 
I was seeing everything in this pot. I was seeing the Grand Canyon and yeah, and chocolate. I mean, it's just chocolate, isn't it? It's chocolate and cream. It's chocolate ice cream. It's everything in between. The base is definitely that kind of cappuccino look. This is me rubbing it to see if any of it's coming off on my fingers. And I decided to use a clean finger because <laughs> kind of made sense. Loved it. I absolutely loved it. I could have stared at this for the longest time and all of my patrons agreed it's very very chocolatey coffee cream all of that i'm obsessed now you would not get this result at all from jesmonite pigments it just wouldn't it wouldn't create like this i don't believe um and also if you put the alcohol ink directly into the jesmonite jesmonite and stir it it will just disappear inside completely disappear inside so this is a new technique that i've tried and i'm utterly in love with it utterly mainly because i love chocolate i mean can you tell <laughs> i'm not even really a coffee or cappuccino drinker but you know if it was handed to me i'd drink it out of politeness but i love it i absolutely love it it's it's also giving me um oh well, what's the word stone like rocks like rock formations you know where sediment gets pushed down and then they take like a a sample out of a rock and then you get all of these amazing layers of just sediment from the years oh no this I don't, I don't know i'll try to describe it but so so in love so i'm zooming back out now to give you an overall picture of everything and honestly i have to keep going the very next video is going to be me exploring this again but also exploring better ways to get alcohol ink in a flat surface so a trinket tray flat dish i want to be able to get something in there that doesn't include dropping the ink directly in the one thing i've learned from doing this video is that if you drop jesmonite directly on top of alcohol ink it does push the alcohol ink out but also if you're layering it like this it pushes the alcohol ink out to the sides and there's not much in the middle I hope this is making sense. So all of these little experiments that I'm running, I hope you found them really, really helpful. Thank you so much if you are still here. We're nearly 12 minutes in. I have like enjoyed this more than I even thought possible because the results, this middle one here again is my favorite where the brown meets the blue and there's a little bridge. I just, what I love most is that you never know what you're gonna get. Very much like anything like this, any pouring medium, any pouring art, resin, jesmonite, hydroflow, you name it. You never know really what you're going to get. And that is what I love. But the pot stole my heart. I've got it on the coffee paper because oh, it just looks so good. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try and do more. The next video, I'm experimenting even further with even more techniques. And I'm also going bright colors as well in the next one we're gonna get that rainbow going and see what happens when we drop all of the colors into the jesmonite at once and see how it looks but i hope you found this really really helpful if you've got any alcohol inks laying around get them out and do this okay because oh look at it i just want to eat it I'm not gonna <laughs> i just have to <laughs> i know you all know it but you know, deep down, I really want to, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.